Welcome everyone, I am going to talk about deflation and I'm going to talk about why deflation is so dangerous and why it is especially dangerous if you are in a country with a lot of debt. It does not matter whether that debt is household debt or whether it is national debt. If you are in a country with a lot of debt, then deflation could be an absolute destructive force. Deflation is the opposite of inflation. Now, most of you already know what inflation is. It is actually something quite common, much more common than deflation. And during inflation, the price of stuff, let's say, for instance, food goes up. The price of cars goes up. The price of luxury laptops goes up. And what happens to the value of every dollar or euro? Well, during inflation, that dollar or euro loses value. Okay, so that is inflation. It is actually quite common. Deflation, however, that is the opposite of inflation. It is much less common. Okay, so it does not occur a lot. And during deflation, the opposite happens of what happens during inflation. So prices actually drop. The prices of food, the prices of cars, the prices of luxury laptops, they all drop. And what happens to the value of money? Well, whatever dollar or euro or yen or pound you have, they gain value. So it's the opposite of inflation. Now, at this point, many of you will say, well, you know, if the prices of the stuff go down during deflation, that's good, right? Because that stimulates consumption and that will stimulate the economy. But no, that is not the case. Deflation is very, very, very bad. It's very dangerous, much more dangerous than inflation. Let me explain to you what happens during deflation. When the prices of things go down and the value of money goes up, people will postpone okay they will postpone a lot of the consumption that is not necessary so for instance when it comes to the consumption of food well you cannot really postpone that you cannot say well food is getting cheaper so i'm going to you know skip the next uh, 365 meals i'm going to eat next year when it's much cheaper you know you cannot eat next year when it's much cheaper you already dead Okay, so but what you can postpone is, for instance, the consumption of that new car. You're going to postpone it because, you know, the prices are going down anyway. And why buy it now if you can buy it cheaper next year? Now, I want you to think about the following. When people postpone on a macro level, okay, postpone consumption, they say, I'm going to wait with buying that laptop or car that will lead to lower revenues for the companies okay because the companies now get less revenues when they get less revenues they will basically fire employees okay employees and when that happens you will have basically uh, a rise in unemployment and when that happens you will have less income less income means that less people are able to purchase the goods and services that firms provide, which means again, lower revenue, which means again, that the firms have to fire employees, which means that unemployment rises further, which means that again, we reach that phase where we have again, lower revenues for the firms. Basically, this is some kind of a cycle that keeps repeating itself. Now, the mechanism that I just showed you can be an absolute disaster for any economy. It doesn't matter whether it is Japan or China or Holland or whatever country. It really doesn't matter. It's bad for all of them. But it is an especially big disaster for countries that have a high level of debt. Okay, now why is this the case? Now, I want you to imagine a fictional character. OK, so let's meet basically John and uh, John is a is a cool guy. And John just started working and he borrows, basically, he borrows the equivalent of, I don't know, uh, 50,000 um, euros to pay, you know, a new uh, BMW 3 Series. Okay, that's a nice car. 
Now, I want you to imagine that John's monthly income, also expressed in euros, is, I don't know, 5,000 euros. Okay, so this depth, this 50,000, is quite manageable for him. But now I want you to think about the following. During deflation, okay, during deflation, what do you think will happen to John's income of 5,000? Prices drop money gains value do you think that his income will remain the same well in the beginning if the deflation lasts one month two months three months half a year etc nothing will happen he gets to keep his five thousand euros but if it lasts long enough then his income will drop. All incomes will drop. They will adjust to the new lower price level. Let's go for an extreme scenario. Okay, I'm going to exaggerate. Let's say that instead of earning 5,000 euros, he will earn 5 euros per month. That is an extreme scenario, but let's exaggerate. Then we understand the core of the matter. Okay. Do you really believe that when this happens, his income drops from 5,000 5, to 5 euros? Do you think that the bank will send him a letter and say, Dear Mr. John, we're so sorry to hear that your income that was previously nice and high dropped to 5 euros. To compensate you and to show you that we care so much about you, we decided to reduce your debt of 50,000 also to 50 euros. No, that will not happen. The debt remains the same. Now with a lower income, he has to pay a debt that in terms of value has remained the same. That is why deflation is so dangerous for an economy that has high levels of debt. Now, if we look at Western countries, like for instance, Eurozone countries or the US, etc., their debt level, of course, relatively speaking, is actually quite high uh, compared to many non-Western countries. That also means that these Western countries, like for instance, Eurozone countries, have a lot more to fear from deflation than do uh, non-Western countries where debt levels are often lower. So for instance, the Eurozone, okay, the Eurozone um, around 2015 and 2016, the Eurozone really struggled with some, uh, you know, period of uh, deflation. There were a couple of weeks where uh, there was deflation. The European Central Bank or the ECB did whatever it could by pumping in a huge amount of money in the eurozone economy to stimulate consumption and basically make sure that this deflation is killed in an early stage because if it is not killed it can be an absolute disaster all right everyone that's it if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and um, share this video thank you so much for your attention and have a fantastic day